Have you ever created a lavender satchel? May Flom here and we are going to show you how easy this can be. To start off with, I have a piece of fabric that is five inches by 10 inches. We're just going to fold it in half. We don't even have to cut it. I've also got some ribbon here that I'm going to use. I like to make a little hanger optional in case someone wants to put this in their closet, hang it from a hanger. So that's going to be going right there. This just gives you the basic idea of how it's going to look when we are done. To start with, what we are going to do is get out our brother's sewing machine, any sewing machine. We're going to straight stitch. We're going to straight stitch all but about a two to three inch gap in one of the sides. Does not matter which side, does not matter if it's going to be the top or the bottom. This project is extremely beginner friendly. As you can see, I'm just backing up my stitching here and then I'm going to press cut. This is a wonderful project and it makes a really terrific gift as well. So as you can see, I've got my little hole there so that I can flip this right side out and I'm just using a soft rounded end of a pen here to turn it right side out and to get the corners. Your scan and cut stylus is another really great tool that works well. And you can see I've still got my opening there and that's where our little ribbon is going to be there just helping you visualize that. But what we're going to do is go ahead and cut some vinyl using the scan and cut. And I'm going to work with a built in design right here on this page. There's a really pretty flower. It's really delicate and will work really well. You could pick any theme, any design that you would like for this. You're just going to select whatever pattern you would like, size it. Now my satchel by the time it's all done is going to be smaller. So I'm going to cut this to be three and a quarter inches. I think that'll be a really good size. I've scanned my mat, so I'm using a scrap. So this is a great scraps, get it all used project. So we are using a scrap of vinyl. We are using a scrap of fabric. This is all really positive, get your supplies used kind of a thing. As you can see, the scan and cut is going to town. I've used half cut, so the vinyl will cut, not the backing. And now I am weeding, otherwise known as removing, all of the bits of vinyl that are cut that we do not want transferred. So anything we don't want to come over and be transferred, we go ahead and remove, as you can see me doing here. Once that is done, we are ready to iron on. So before we finish and close a lavender satchel, this is where we add things on. So any sewing, any decorations, I'm using another, I always work these in batches, I'm using another one here to use as a press cloth to iron this into place. As you can see, it's beautiful and it's on there. But any decorating that you're doing to your satchel, do it now. Then you're going to fill it. So I use a combination of lavender and buckwheat hulls. The buckwheat hulls are just really lovely and light and it works well. You're gonna fill it maybe a third full. You do not need this very full. Then you're going to set your ribbon in there. As you can see, I stitched over the top with the ribbon with the opening first, because if you're adding a ribbon, then obviously the top becomes where the ribbon goes. But I'm, I did that first because I wanted that sealed. You don't want things falling back out. And then what you see me doing is just kind of shifting and adjusting so that the lavender and the buckwheat holes move over so that we're not sewing them. Although you wouldn't harm, you probably wouldn't harm your sewing machine. It's all very, very light. Um, and that's one of the reasons I like this versus some other materials you can make satchels out of. And then I'm just turning around and going all four sides, then backing up and cutting. And that's it. I'm not even kidding. It's so easy. All you need to do is trim your threads. I love how the contrast looks with the pale or dark, depending on the color you start with. And these make a wonderful gift. These make a drawer or a closet smell lovely. They last a long time and you've handcrafted something special for someone you care about. Thanks so much for tuning in.